job security. They had re-legalized alcohol. What's Harry J going to do now for a job? Harry J. Asinger decided that he was going to ban marijuana and base his career on enforcing the anti-marijuana laws. He got a bad law passed in 1937 and we've been suffering under its consequences ever since. He got that law passed on false pretenses. He got it passed on racist pretenses. He used the word marijuana because it sounds scarier than cannabis. It sounds foreign. It sounds something like you need to be afraid of. He told people that minorities after they smoked marijuana would want to rape white women. That's how racist this campaign was against marijuana to begin with. And we still have that same law on the books. Why are we suffering under this racist nonsense from the 1930s, people? It's time to wake up and enter the 21st damn century. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of mar marijuana prohibition. I've had a belly full of it. I'm done with it. I'm damn tired of it. The only authorization I need to use marijuana is right here in my endocannabinoid system. When I smoke a joint and those receptors light up, that's the only yes I need. That's when I know that marijuana is good for me. Marijuana is good for your brain cells. It grows new brain cells. It protects the ones you have. Marijuana is so good for your brain cells that it can protect them from the damaging effects of alcohol and from other toxins that are your environment. Let me tell you, if we ever find a way out of this stupid drug war and a way to an enlightened society, I can promise you that cannabis is going to be a big part of it. If you like marijuana, you're going to like the future, brothers and sisters. It's time that we return to freedom in this country. It's time that we return to the ideals that the 50s beatniks and the 60s hippies brought to us. It's time that we forget all about the nightmare of the just say no 80s under Reagan. We have a lot that we owe to the medical marijuana warriors of the 80s and 90s. The fact that medical marijuana laws were passed in the 90s in California and Washington and Oregon and Hawaii and Alaska. They led the way for all the other states. That's the reason we've got 20 states right now. Just during the past month, we got two more states. We got Connecticut and we got Illinois. Now we got 20 medical marijuana states. It's got to be 50 though. 20 is not good enough. And speaking of not good enough, marijuana is not really legal until you can grow it at home. It's pretty obvious to me that if a plant is legal, you can grow your own marijuana. We're not there yet. We still got a ways to go. Yeah, I'm proud we made progress with I-502, but who are they to tell you you can't grow your own medicine at home? People have been growing and using and being enlightened by and made more healthy by this plant for 12,000 years now. So some stuffed shirt politician decides he's going to tell you you can only have an ounce at the time or you can't grow any at home because you've got to come buy it from him and he probably don't know what the hell he's doing when he grows it to begin with. That's bullshit. We got to grow our own medicine. We got to really free the plant. We got to really legalize the plant. As long as they can still bust you, it's not legal yet. If you got over 40 grams in this state, even right here in legal Washington, you got over 40 grams, you got a felony on your hands, brothers and sisters. You can be charged for passing a joint to your neighbor. You can be charged for sharing your weed with your neighbor. It's not